Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome, welcome, good welcome. Good evening. Good to see you on this evening. Hopping this on. Oh, y'all hopping, hopping on in. quick. Hello, hey, everyone. everyone. All right. Good. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, Hello. Nancy. Hey, 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 Nancy. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Ship. Ship. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You know, it, it changes all the time, right, Miss Tika? Like, you never know what you're going to get when you pop in the hair. Never know. Real. Brother Can Chris, hey, first time. Well, welcome. Welcome. We got to give you the first time dance. Yes, we got to give you Black 33. Hello, Thank welcome. You. Hello, good. Man, hello. Hey, Evolving. Evolving. Good to see you, sis. All right. Well, come on, come on, come on. Join us. Yes. Like, why does your tongue like always come out? That is just so like crazy. Look at you. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Hey, Taj. Hey. Hey, hey Moses. Hey, what's happening, y'all? Hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on. Come on and sit a spell. Sit a spell. Listen, we are live here on Periscope. Yes, we this are. Year, you are all over it. Listen, we're before we get started, invite, share, join. Hey, just don't lurk. We love our marriage real family. We and we're do. so glad you guys are here with us on tonight. Yes, and for our replay viewers, thank you for watching. Remember, you can click, uh, touch the screen and give hearts. Thank you all for the invite. Thank you. Oh, we love y'all hey, too. Time to... Hey, I am. Hey, no okay, so zone. okay, right, okay. So, well, well, well thank you for loving yes. us. We love you. Yes, back. we love you all so much. Okay, so we have some first timers on. So yes, any first timers? Dance. Let's get all the first timers in. Y'all sign up because we about to get do the first time dance. One of our watchers said their daughter's walking around doing the first time dance. Oh. That's hilarious. I hope it's safe. I hope, I hope we're tongue in her Ready mouth. The first time dance, first timers. Woo, woo. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Woo, woo. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Woo, woo. welcome, welcome. 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 <laughs> Welcome to Marriage for Real. Thank you all hey, so Dustin. much. Hey, Hey, doesn't get to see you. Thank you all so much for joining us on this this winter night. We got snow coming here in Chicago. No, they said it's supposed to be snow on Wednesday. I'm like hoping that oh it's my God. not. I thought we had just beat it. Thank you all hey, so much. Our Vinny. Where are you guys from? They Wednesday. say Wednesday. This Wednesday. Like, what, six to ten inches? Yes. Six we just had it might miss today. us. Like it might miss us. Yeah. I know, like, right? It might miss us. I'm oh my so gosh. hoping it'll miss us. So Oh okay. my goodness. Well anyway, welcome to Marriage for Real. I'm your brother Dick. Yeah, and I'm Toy. Yes, yes don't we're from Chicago. I was really cool. You're from Chicago. Yes, Chicago, yes, from Chicago. Chicago. Town. Yes, All hot right. Texas. Yes, and we don't brag. Where, you, where y'all from? Come on, tell, tell us where y'all from so we can get started. I like to know where everybody. Jacksonville. Well, you know I'm from Jacksonville. Oh, you know, she knows, knows that. that. She knows I lived yeah. in Jacksonville for quite some time. Yes. yes. Yeah. Where else? Where else? At ATL in the house. Yes. I am Tess. Hey, I'm Tess. I haven't seen you in a while. You been here? <laughs> you know we be we know we be watching Texas, our American real family. We be looking out. We be looking for y'all. Yes. Okay. So we you know we know when y'all ain't. Where you been? Where you been? <laughs> Yanni Brown making love together from Chicago. Chicago. All right. All right. Oh, I like Yanni that. Brown. Fort Welcome. Lauderdale. All right. That's what's up. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm your brother D. This is, <laughs> this is my wife Toy, and we are marriage for real. That's who we for are. Real. That's who we are. Okay. Who who are we not, babe? We are not licensed therapists. We are not um Come on, flow woman, life flow. coaches. Frozen is what we no, uh, not frozen. Babe, it just froze. It did. Did y'all Y'all still here? Okay, yeah, we still okay. flowing. Right, so we're not life coaches. We are not uh d licensed doctors, but what we are are we still saying what we yeah. are? Yeah, what are we? We have already almost been married for how many years? 21, 21 in a week. 21 years in on March the 4th. Wow. Woo! 21 years of marriage. 21 years of marriage. So what qualifies us to stand in front of you guys tonight? Thank Why you. have you guys invited us into your homes? Well, those of you who have been following us on Periscope know we have been through the spectrum. We have run the gambit of marital failures. Yes. Okay, you pick it, we did it. All right. We said, how can you fail at marriage? We want to do that. Yes. You want to know how to fail at marriage? <laughs> Thank you. We did it. We okay. found out. Yeah, but through that failure, we built success. Thank you, okay? making love better. Yes, we, we built success. And and, and 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 through that, we want to share that with you, how we've come on this side, loving each other even more than ever before. Yes. After 21 years and multiple pitfalls that were our own doing. Yeah. Okay? So everything that we give you comes from our, our point of, of, of experience. 
Yes, I know. We're legal now. We're married. married That's like our theme this year, Miss Tika, is when we hit 21, we legal now. Yeah, we're legal now. Okay. <laughs> New trophy wife joined. Thank you. So everything we give you comes from our marital experience and our backgrounds. And we are those people, y'all. We love God. We, we love the do. Lord. We do. Right? We do. We are licensed and ordained ministers, and we cannot shake the foundation of our success, which has been the word of God yes. and our faith, okay? Yes. So everything we give you comes from there, okay? Everything. So we hope that you join us. Stick around. Invite people. Share. We have some fun here in Marriageville, y'all. We do. We keep it 100, okay? Don't think. Because we love Jesus. Because we, we love Jesus, <laughs> then we ain't going to keep it real with y'all. We're going to keep it 100. We, we talk about everything. In Jesus' name. Yes, we talk about everything. Everything you want to talk about it, we will cover it. Yeah. Okay. And so, with that being said, because we use the Bible as our point of reference, let's just get it out there, folks. We believe in marriage as the as the Word of God has established marriage between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything out of that, outside of that, we don't even touch. We don't even go there. Okay. So, if you're married, looking to be married, looking for a long term <laughs> relationship that's going to go into marriage, or you're single, wondering, you know, how this thing, how this journey goes. Join us, invite, and we are about to get started. Yes. And so on this week, um, oh, was it this week or last week? On last week, uh, we saw that um, the coach from, or assistant coach from... The o Oklahoma City Thunder. Yes. Monty uh, Williams. Yes. His wife was tragically killed in a, in a car accident. And Our his, prayers go out to the, both families. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because the driver of the other car was also killed. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, but his testimony, when he like, I don't, babe, do you think you, okay, God forbid, I'm okay, y'all, ain't nothing happening, we still got a lot of work to do, but do you think you could give me my, give my eulogy? I think I could. I, I, I think there was, there would be no one better to give it. He was a profound witness to her life. He was. Uh, he loves the Lord. If you all don't know anything about Monty Williams, he used to be the head yeah, coach. Yeah, the way he spoke. Yeah. yeah. He used to, you know, we actually posted a link on our Facebook page. If, if you, you haven't, haven't seen, seen it, it yeah. go to our Facebook page uh, at Marriage For Real on Facebook. And uh, it was a powerful eulogy of, of forgiveness, of understanding, of moving forward. Of, of uh, he, he, he gave a great testament to his wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he loves the Lord. If you all don't know Monty Williams, he used to be the head coach of, of the Pelicans and uh, got, you know, fired and now he's the assistant coach of the OKC Thunder and if you, when his wife died, it was so moving the support that he got from the team. Kevin Durant was out on, on television just crying, weeping because his life has been a testimony. His integrity and, and, and his openness with his faith yeah. was apparent and he never hid anything mm -hmm. and, and, and that shone through even in his eulogy yeah it was beautiful, it was beautiful. Um, check it you gotta check it, it out it was just you beautiful the way that he eulogized her and this where his heart came from and just of course always you know that we're always to walk in a mindful state no matter whether we're married or not whether um, what's going on in our lives we should walk with the attitude of gratitude but after I saw, yeah, it was um, beautiful, Mr. Shit. Yeah. Um, after I saw him just speak so beautifully of his wife, my Thank thought process sharing. was two things: was what will my family and my husband have to say about me, right? If something was to happen to me, we ain't heaven going forbid. nowhere. Heaven forbid. <laughs> um, but B, like, it seems like he lived a life like most coaches are so busy you know, with work and the team, that he he said, I was ready to go home. Like, they loved each other. Like, they yes. did, like, it didn't seem like, of course we do sometimes in marriage take each other for granted, but it, it, it just he seemed like. He said it on the video. He said, you know, he loved going home. Yeah, he said, I loved, he loved going, going home. home. To his wife and his five kids. And so on tonight, I think that's the that's topic of our scope is, that's what I said, Miss Tika, we're going together. By like the <laughs> undertaker or the upper taker. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's the only way. Um... But um, shoot, we're we just we're just not gonna take each other for granted. So that's the topic of our scope on tonight. Tonight, taking nothing for granted. That's powerful. Taking nothing for granted. What does that look like, especially when you've been married a while? Yeah, it, you know what? I think sometimes you can, we get so used to the lives that we live, the humdrum of the day, of um, things. We live in a level of expectation that things are just going to be. 
Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, okay, so we get up in the morning. We and give I, no thought to like we to, give to the no future. thought to the future at all. Yeah, or in our relationships. Primarily. We never, we don't give any thought to like it might not be. Yeah, we live I mean, as if. But think about it. We we give we give thought to the future when it comes to our education. Yeah. When it comes to our employment. When it comes to whatever ventures or projects that we have laid in front of us, we give. When it comes to our children, we yeah. Give, but oftentimes, when it comes to our spouse, to our to our, to to our mate, yeah. we give no thought to the future. No. Think about that. We live very much in the now, mm -hmm. and sometimes that person gets lost in our periphery. Wouldn't yeah. you agree? I agree. Yeah. And that's how even I, even the same sometimes even with our children because I know when we were raising our children. And by the way, you guys who are just now um, watching us for the first time. We have four children. Our children are 25, 21, 20, and 18. Yes. And so now what I always tell young mothers now, like, yeah, you, you caught up in the hustle and bustle of things, but don't miss those moments with your babies. Like, I know they, they're aggravating you, getting on your nerves, and all, but don't miss those moments with your babies. But in the same respect, don't miss those moments with your spouse. Yeah. That's so important. Don't. It is the small things. Like today, Dwayne came, and it was like he came to my job, and we ate lunch together. Well, one thing that we while liked I was on duty. While he was on, <laughs> well, he was on lunch. Yeah, I was on lunch. Um, and one of the things we like to do is to be intentional about our relationship, right? Like to make sure that we're doing things in our marriage that show that we're working at it. Like we're sowing into our marriage. If you if you've seen some of our prior scopes, we talked about. The different, Very important. The different right. seasons of your marriage, you know, the spring, the summer, the fall, and the winter, and how is it very important to sow into your, to your marriage in all the seasons, but especially in the summer season, so that when the winter comes, you got something to hold on to, You're ready. right? You're stocked up. Yeah, got to maintain it yeah. and keep it fresh. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And so um, we are not as intentional in our marriages as we should well, be. Let me go back to the seasons thing for a moment. I love that analogy about uh, about how the seasons come. Winter inevitably comes to every relationship. It and, if you, does. and if you know that winter season, the Bible always mentioned winter in the context of death. Yes. Okay, in the context of death. Winter symbolized death, where nothing could grow, everything was barren. You, you, mm -hmm. you understand it was hard to survive. Mm -hmm. um, Winter comes to every relationship, mm -hmm. every relationship. I don't care how in love you are currently. That's true. I don't care how fresh you are in your relationship. Really, I don't care how intentional you are with your relationship. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Yeah. Know that it's coming. It's a guaranteed thing. But what we do during the fair seasons, how we stock up just as we would naturally, we have to do so in our, in, in, in our marriages. Mm -hmm. We have to stock up moments. We have to stock up love. We have to stock up time together. Yes. We have to stock up on those things so that when the winter comes, we have something to cling on to. Yeah. Do you understand? Oftentimes during those fairs, those those fair moments, mm -hmm. they sweep through. Yeah. They sweep through. We live only in the moment, but we don't hold on to those things. Yeah. And then when the hard times hit, we're at each other's throats. Yeah. How do we know? Been there. Yep. Been there. Okay? We, when we were young and fresh in this thing, we were, we were struggling, y'all. We were struggling, but we were in love. Yeah. It was Stupid passion. love. It, it was just hot, <laughs> jackrabbit passion. Do you, you, you understand what I'm saying? It was like, whoa. All that time, Went out the window. Yep. Soon as the hard times hit. Yep. Cause we did. Yep. Yep. That too. We didn't sew. We didn't sew. We 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 didn't stock up. <laughs> you, 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 seriously. Yeah. That's we true. just lived in the moment for that moment. Yeah. You, you, you understand? We all know the story of the grasshopper and the ant. Yeah. Okay. What did the ant do? The ant stocked up. Yeah. Knowing the winter was coming. We were grasshoppers. We were living in the moment. Yeah. Okay, just living for the now. Do you understand? I love you now. Yeah. You're my girl now. You're fine now. You got hair now. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You're strong now. No complaints now. Yeah. But when everything else hit, oh that my thing gosh. got tested. We folded. We didn't feel in love. When love wasn't nowhere in the picture. Wait, wait a minute. Here's the truth of the matter is, that's when that in love 
went feeling out, went out the window. Went out the window. And that's when the love was, was tested. So, yes. So because the in love feeling is just that. It's so fleeting. It's an in love feeling. Yes. Yes. Love, love is an act. Love is conscious. Love is present. What about love is I know. even though we're about to kill each other, there's something there. Yeah. That's going to prevent us. Right, so in love is a feeling. Yeah, in love is a feeling. In love is a feeling. You can feel in love today yeah. and tomorrow. Hate not hate that person, but but not you know, like that person. But not like that person. There, there are moments when we can. Get, come on now, this is marriage for real. We can get on each other's nerves. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. I know y'all see the chemistry yeah, the and we do love sustains. each other. Yes. Yeah, it's the act of love that sustains. It's love is an action. Yeah, it's that's not a verb. A it's something feeling. you do. Okay, it's not a feeling. You can feel warm one minute. You can feel cold the next. Do you yeah. understand? You can feel happy one minute. You can feel sad the next. Okay. Yeah. Feeling in love is just like those other feelings. It's circumstantial. Yes. Do you understand? Feeling in love is very circumstantial. Loving. It's eternal. Yeah. When you really love, that means you are, it's something that is really concrete. It's set. Despite the feelings. Okay? Yeah. Despite the feelings. Are you guys picking this up okay? Because I someone said we're freezing. Okay? We want to make sure we see the heart still flowing. Are you still picking this up okay? On your end, let us know. Okay, okay. cool. All right, cool. Yeah. Feeling in love passes. Oh, thank you, it doesn't mean that you don't love each other. Okay, but if you're leaning on that feeling to dictate how you move forward, yeah. it will fail you. Yeah. It will really fail you. Okay, when that when the things that were once cute ain't so cute anymore. Nope. You, you you understand that 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 little thing he did at the, at, 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 at dinner table when y'all was dating that oh isn't that cute? You know what I mean? Woo! And then twenty years later, then when you quit? <laughs> <laughs> seriously, yeah, seriously. But being yes. but actually loving, loving. Is something that is so purposeful. Jump like what? <laughs> yeah, <it's> so, <laughs> it is so purposeful. It is okay, despite where you are. When that would that's someone I think it was Miss Tika said. What about that? What about that? Uh, that winter though. Yeah. That winter, man. Let me tell you something. Hey, oh my so gosh. Nice. That winter. Oh my gosh. <sighs> let me tell you how what what led up to the winter. Remember I, when I said earlier how it's so easy for your your spouse to get caught in the periphery. Mm -hmm. Our winter, primarily, our first winter came when Toy got lost in my periphery. We were coming out of a very Babe, tough. Explain periphery, because I'm. That means like, the side. If I, I'm know, focused, like, I thought it was periphery. Right. right. If I'm if I'm looking if I'm looking this way, my periphery is everything off to the side that I can I can kind of make out, but I'm not really focused on. Okay. Toy, I can make. I knew she was there. I knew she was there. I knew the kids were there. You, 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 you understand? I knew they were present and all this stuff. But once we got out of our financial Hole. pit, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, our pit, yeah. and I was—I got on the police department. I was young, spry, strong. Okay, ready to go change the babe, world. You're still strong, babe. I'm still strong. You're still strong. <laughs> so okay, but I was ready to go and turn my family situation around and get them everything that they wanted. And brother didn't work one job. That mind you, was enough. I was working like three, okay, three, and all of a sudden, the person that I vowed to always pour into, the person that I vowed would, that would never feel neglected, the person that I vowed would, would know, I remember us in that in love stage, in that passion stage, where I told her not a day would go by where you wouldn't know that I loved you. Mm -hmm. Remember when I told you that? Mm -hmm. I remember. Okay, not a day would go by where you wouldn't know that I loved you. Winter came. She got lost in my periphery. And not just one day passed without her knowing that I loved her. Weeks passed. Mm -hmm. Months passed. Do you understand? Until we were almost done. Yeah. We were almost done, y'all. It was, it, it was bad. It was really bad. Yes, it was the, winter, winter, the, winter, the winters, the winters, here's the thing about winters, though. Winters can be rough, but winters can be sweet. Because even though, even for us, we've come through a when you learn how to right when you learn how to to ride them out. Let me tell you what the let me tell you what the beautiful thing about a winner is if you can recognize it and you guys are in a good space and prepared for it. One thing about winter is there's always a covering, always a covering. If you learn in your winter seasons how to take cover in each other, oh. 
you'll get through that season so fast, so quick. <laughs> hey, hey, Naj, hey, hey, hi. So quick. If we think about it, the natural winner, there's a covering. Yes. Right? There's a, there's a snow cover the whole time. And the birds are, God covered is a, is a covering. If you learn how to cover each other in your tough times, this you, you will get through that winter season faster, closer, better. That's another analogy, another word. Well, let me just pick up on that because that's, that's, that's a powerful thread that you're going on. Winter can be sweet. Once you learn how to survive it. Yeah. Okay. As we know now in Chicago, when the winter hits, yep. it's nothing better to know that my shelves are stocked. Yep. You understand? That we can turn on the fireplace and we can huddle together. The yep. word of God tells us we're two lie together, there's heat. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Seriously. We're two lie together, there's heat. Now, with, with that being said, when our second winter hit, or yeah. more, our most recent winter hit, yeah. we were more prepared for it. Yeah. Because we had endured and survived the previous ones. Yeah. Do you understand? And so this time when the winter hit, instead of separating and, and getting no heat, getting yeah. cold in our emotions, getting freezing to death and getting hypothermia in our feelings, yeah. instead of that, we actually huddled together. Yep. And we drew heat from each other. Yep. And we endured it much more gracefully yeah. than we did the first time where it almost destroyed us and yeah. killed us. Okay? The, and it was sweet. Now we look back on it, it's like, man, man, she wrote that. We wrote that out like champs. Yeah. Where previously it was like, what you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, you all. I was leaving. <laughs> it was, was like leaving that. this Go place, I say. You want to leave? Go. I was leaving. Be up. <laughs> That's, that's where we're at. You, 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 you understand? You can't take each other for granted. Stock up on the moments that you have right now. Yep. Do you understand? I don't care if you guys are sitting here watching Periscope. Watching us, make that your thing. That you guys spend time and connect. We'd love to join you guys. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah, okay? <laughs> you, whether it's watching your favorite show or Netflix. Did you guys have winners while you're... You know, here's the funny thing. While we were dating... While we were dating, they weren't truly winters. No. They were more like falls. You know why? Because you could leave. Yeah. Leaving was easy. You understand? Because it was, it was easier. Yeah. It was non-committal. Do you mm -hmm. understand? It doesn't carry as much weight when the commitment isn't involved. Yeah. When the level of, the level of, 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 of uh, the, the marriage thing is not in play. Yeah. Do you, you, you understand? But when the marriage thing is, is, is fully in play, there's so much at stake. Yeah. Okay? The stakes have been raised exponentially mm -hmm. at that point. And so when those moments hit, that's when they really become winners. Yeah. A lot of times in dating, I think we more experience droughts. Yeah. It's, it's more like droughts. Do you, you, you understand? Because you can always pick it back up. <laughs> Thank you, Nash. And that's, and that's why you see so many <laughs> off-again, on-again relationships. They go through these droughts. You know what I mean? And then they boop back together. Yeah. You, 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 you know, we, we, we did it. We see it with our kids perpetuated growing up. They go through these months. Ah, I'm done with them. Well, yeah, we got back together. Yeah. You know, those are droughts. That's a figuring out process of one another. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when the winter hits is when I'm tied to you now. Yeah. I'm tied to you now. Like, either we're going to swim together or we're going to sink together. Yeah. And what are we going to do? Yeah. That gets tough. Yes. When the other person can feel like dead weight. Yes. You, you understand? It doesn't make them dead weight, but they can feel like dead weight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that also is a trick of the enemy because oftentimes, one of, one of the, no plan B, you're right. One, one of the things that, hello, hey. hello, welcome, welcome. Um, during that time, one of the tricks of the enemy is... Just like naturally so, when you're drowning, they tell you to let go of the other person. Yep. You understand? Not so in marriage. Do you understand? Babe, say that again. Because it's like, it's so true. Say that one more time. What? What, the, what, what happens in the natural when in the, you're drowning. In the, nat the natural tells us when you're drowning and your life is at stake, fend for yourself. Let go of the other person. Okay? Let them fend for themselves. That doesn't apply to marriage. Yeah, wasn't okay? that good? Yeah, that doesn't apply to, apply to marriage. When you feel like you're drowning... When you feel like you can't breathe, yeah. when you feel like your world is cr crumbling, you need to be able to cling to your spouse. Yeah. Do you understand? 
there's a, a couple. They're going through a very tumultuous time right now. A lot of indecision, a lot of major life things going on. And one of the things that we really want to encourage them in is during this time, pull closer together. Yeah. Both of you all can't be in that same point of desperation. Yeah. When we when we just this recent thing that we went through financially. Financially. It financially. financially. It's all financial. We good, y'all. Okay. We <laughs> ain't nobody going nowhere. It was just financially, okay? Yeah. Where I was unemployed, y'all. Those of you who have followed us for for a while know that we know we, the story. Y'all know the story. We went from six figures to no figures literally overnight. Yeah, literally six figure income to no figure income overnight. Totally nothing. Okay, and during that time, neither one of us, because we had matured and we had endured and we had learned and we had leaned on the Word of God and we we we, we garnered wisdom from 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 great counsel, when that stuff hit, ne neither one of us, neither one of us was in the pit at the same time. We knew that we couldn't afford to be. Okay? What? I'm, I'm, oh. no, I'm seeing, watching, I'm here. I saw you, uh, Naj. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. She separated. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yes. Sorry I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that we'll later. We'll talk about that later. Um, but you, you, you know, you, you, you got our attention. You, you always got a heart. You know that, sister. Um, but during that time, instead of doing this like we did previously, we latched on to one another. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that she was down, even though I was not in a great place, mm -hmm. I had to elevate myself yeah. in order to bring her up. Yeah. Neither We couldn't because if we're both in the same place, it becomes a cycle of misery and despair. Yep. Do you understand? When she would see me go off, she saw me start ret retreating into my head, you know what I mean, feeling down, she would come and say or do something to pull me back up. Hey, hello, hello. Hey. Yeah, welcome back. That's the power of marriage. When one is drowning, the other needs to be there. It yes. doesn't matter how where you are. Yeah. It's about keeping this thing together, hey, to keeping this, this boat afloat. Do you understand? Yeah. Somebody got to keep the boat. Somebody got to keep it together. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of times that requires us pushing our feelings aside. Yeah. Okay. Granted, when she would see me down, I knew she was in a bad place. Okay. But she knew, okay, we both can't be there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm a, it's, it's my turn. Yeah. And then when it was my turn, it was my turn. Hey, come on. We're going to be all right. Let's pray. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> And that's how we that's how we got through it. Yeah, and we got through it. We got through it closer. So how will you know if that person does not display that when you're dating, working together? Absolutely right. Yeah. So how will you know if that person? Um, there are some things, and I I, I cautious I caution women more so on this than men. Mm -hmm. Is this? Do not not look at the warning or the yellow signs. Like we see, with a heart attack, y'all still there? I know she, see, got, she got deep. Y'all got quiet on the love. We see small <laughs> smidgens. Thank uh, you. Thank you. We thank see you. small smidgens of things in somebody that we're dating. You always get glimpses. that we compromise you for always and get about. Glimpses. And then when you get married, you act like I didn't know that that was going on. I was done because he had too much going on. You know what? That's that is typical. And he said that she had. <laughs> He said that she had too much going on. Yeah, I know. I, was gonna say, I okay. saw that. Um, and here's the funny thing. That's a blessing, quite honestly. When you're dating, when you're dating, okay, a person will let you know where they are by yeah. their actions. Yeah. Quite honestly. Believe them. Believe it, okay? Yeah. If, you, if you find yourself in a tight spot, I, I tell my kids this all the time, especially when, especially when, they're, when they're classifying someone as a friend. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. It costs very little to give you words of encouragement to be a cheerleader. It really doesn't cost the other person anything. Yeah. Okay. To give you, tell you words that you need to hear at that time. Yeah. All right. That is a very small investment. Yeah. All right. Your friends, the, the, the person that you're going to be with, they will, you will know who they are and what they are by what they do. Yeah. If you're in that dark place, what are they actively doing to assist you? Love is a verb. 
It is what you do. Ride or die. Whatever yeah, you want to put to it. Yeah, it's what you do. Yeah, it's what you do. Okay, and, and, and be grateful if a person jumps ship when your storm hits yeah. before you're married. You want to be grateful for that. Believe yeah. It may hurt at that moment. It may hurt at that moment, but that's a blessing. Yeah. Okay, because when there's really something at stake outside of your feelings, yeah. you can't afford to have people jump ship. Yeah. You need everybody with a bucket. Do you understand? I need all hands on. It was funny. When we first moved into this house, it started flooding. Okay, we had some torrential rain <laughs> in my basement. This is where I keep all my comic books, all my yep, other stuff. Jump ship. You, you understand? And we had everybody down here with buckets. You know why? Because this is our house. Yep. You, you, you feel me? You want somebody that when the storm hits, they grab a bucket and a mop. Yep. Okay, and they're like, okay, what we got to do. To clean up our mess. To clean up our mess. Yes. Okay? You say, well, I'm dating. It's not our mess yet. That person will let you know. Who they are by their actions. Yep. Okay? You start being the spouse you want to be before you get married. Yep. It doesn't happen after you get married. Yeah. Know you that. You start seeing the investment being made while prior you're dating. Prior to. Yeah, yeah prior the to. investment isn't made when you get married. A husband or a wife acts, acts thusly prior to the marriage. Yeah. And that's the truth. Even yeah. when you're dating. Yeah. Wifey material, husband material starts ex displaying itself before Prior to marriage. the marriage. Their yes. care and concern for your well-being to that level happens, happens way before to. marriage. Yeah, way before yes. marriage. I don't care. She's like, I got it, I got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't just for you. We're talking to anybody who might be in that situation because that's happened to a lot. That happened to me. Yeah. You, you understand? And and I thank, I thank God for those who jump shit. I'm yeah. like, whew. Because if it would have... You jump ship where there's really nothing to stake for you. Right. That person was helping dig holes in the ship. Yeah. Helping me, helping me if, sink. If you jump ship when you got nothing at stake, really, I want you gone. Yeah. I want you gone. Seriously. You're yeah, glad they jumped. I'm glad you jumped. Yeah. Swim with the fishes. Have fun. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, it hurts at that moment. Yeah. But it, once you collect yourself, think about it. Think about it. They had nothing to lose and they jumped. Yeah. Okay. Be gone. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. All right? But when that person is there, like, wait a second. Hold up. How are we going to get through this? When they start talking that we stuff, before y'all get married? Yeah. That's a big green light right there. That's yeah. like, hold up. Okay, you you for real, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm for real. What we going to do? And that's what we did. Yeah. Believe it or not, before we, while we were dating, yeah. it became we up real quick. It did. It did. <laughs> it became we real quick. It did. And I was a serial dater prior to her. She got me talking that we stuff quick. She put we that, she put that we start speaking the French. She started putting we, that hoochie we, on me. We, we, I ate the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> she got me, spe so she had me speaking. She had me speaking that we, that French real quick. We. My boy's like, dude, what you mean we? You ain't from France. <laughs> well, me, me and my girl, what? Us? What? We. <laughs> You're right, Chris. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I knew it was real. It didn't yeah. take me long to realize I had a good thing. You know, it didn't take me long. You know, so yeah, be glad that they jump ship. Absolutely. Yeah, be glad. And in the spirit of that, you know, be sure to um, to keep uh, Brother Monty in your prayers as well as, well yes. as the other family um, who also who also was in that head-on collision. And be mindful of with your spouse that you are not taking them for granted. Like tomorrow. Not, not even, even if you're not married, not even in this, in this life, take nothing for granted. Nothing. There was often times when it was just me and Dwayne and our kids sitting around at home. And there were moments when I would just stop and I would tell God, thank you for this moment where there was no confusion. There was no chaos. All my babies was at home. All my babies were at home. Everybody was fed. And we might have just been sitting there watching TV. Nothing grand happening. But there was nothing chaotic happening either. Because as you know, your life can change at a moment. Anything can change at a moment. It's that phone call. It's that knock on the door. It's that somebody who don't come home can change in a moment. And in that, and so in these moments, when you're having times of peace or even moments of peace, you need to be grateful for those moments. She said something powerful a few weeks ago that really, for real, it brought me to tears. She didn't know that it brought me to tears because I kind of wiped them while she was laying on my chest. But she said that she said, Listen to that. She said, one day, I may not be able to hear this heartbeat. Aww. 
And that was powerful. She lives that. She takes, and we were just laying in bed watching TV. Yeah. And she just had her head on my chest, her spot, she was what she calls it. I need you my spot. I mean? She had her spot going. And she was like, one day, I may not be able to hear this heartbeat. And that, that, that let me know how important those moments are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not flighty. That's not deep. You, you, you understand? That's sincere. That's real. That's how you should. You, I'm not saying you have to be there every day, mm -hmm. you know, in that mindset. Okay. But if you're never visiting that place, if you're never visiting that place, mm -hmm. some conversations need to be had. Mm -hmm. You understand? If, if, if your relationship is of such where you're not connecting on that level regularly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not saying frequently. I'm just saying regularly. Okay, if you're not connecting on that l level regularly, yeah. Okay, it may be time to take a visit to that place. You understand, or or or, or at least reevaluate some things and maybe inject some counseling and some deep conversations. Absolutely, it was. Um, I think I think the biggest the, the turning point for me is when um, when Dwayne's uncle, when Dwayne's aunt passed. Your auntie Aunt Rita passed years and years ago uh, of cancer, and her husband said, "I would give anything." just to argue with her about leaving the light on at night one more time. And we look at those moments of when your spouse is like me, a pet peeve of mine is when Dwayne got a cup and he's got ice in it and he just, ooh, and he's just shaking that cup. It rattles like it cold. my nerves. Like, boy, you get to make that noise. But not to sit, not to sit and think morbidly, you're like, oh my gosh, he might leave. But no. to be very grateful that you are, you have someone to live this life with, to share this life life with, and know that that person may not always be there, and so don't take that for granted. Yeah, we argue. Get over the arguments quicker. Get over it. Get over your attitudes, whether it's with your husband, your wife, your kids, your family, quicker. We wait till we get to funerals and cry. And, and pass out because... And people cry and they pass out because now they regret all the wasted moments. Right. So much time wasted. Stop Damn. wasting time and being unforgiving. Stop right. wasting time being argumentative and angry and mean. Yeah. Stop, all, like, stop all of that mess. Yes. Stop it. Life is too short. Take nothing for granted. Nothing. He did not know that while he was on his way to... The, uh, to, to work that day to the gym to the what is it the Coliseum. Coliseum that his wife was driving and someone was going to hit her and him and his five kids they had five kids five were kids. left behind and now what but the by the testimony that he was able to give of her life yeah gotta learn that yeah, yeah. It yeah is it's easier, easier said it than is. it is it is so much is. easier said than done but it's necessary but it's necessary. See, at, most things that are good and beneficial are not easy. Yeah. And that's the point. You know, when, when, it's funny when, when my wife would go to the gym with me, she said, man, this, I'm tired. And I said, this is why it's called a workout, not an easy out. Okay? Yes. Things worth having are, you have to work for them. Yeah. You, you understand? So that means effort. That means intention. Yeah, it's easier said than done. Okay? But guess what? If it wasn't necessary, it wouldn't be easy. And, and there's a kind of another reason why it's, it's it's it really is easy done when you're intentional when you're intentional and when your thoughts are in the right place yeah. like it's easier to apologize when i'm concerned about my relationship being right it's easier to forgive when i know that if i don't forgive i ain't going to be forgiven or i know that if i don't forgive my stuff ain't going to be right. Like, I don't, I realize that I don't have time, but I got a lot of stuff to do in a short time that I've got. So I don't have time to waste on things that are not worth wasting on. Arguments. Yeah, we argue. Like cats and Like dogs. cats and dogs. But y'all, our, our arguments kids crack up last, at our arguments. They last from probably Cause they, cause they know, 10 minutes. They know 10, 15 minutes later we'll be cuddled up on the couch. Like nothing. My friends, when they come in from out of town, they think it's hilarious. We'll argue in front of them. We argue for anybody. We argue for anybody. <laughs> okay. We've been married too long. And he's like, D, this is the funniest thing. You and Toy, y'all get heated. And then five minutes later, hey, babe, you want me to make your plate? Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, because it's about big picture thinking. Because when you get to the point when you realize ain't nobody going nowhere, nope. there is no plan. <laughs> I think we might have argued in front I of y'all. I think we might have had one, yeah. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Be around us long enough. You'll see it. <laughs> uh, them AKAs are loving them pink and know, right? right there. <laughs> um, but when you realize you're not going anywhere, when you realize that this is the woman or this is a man for the rest of your life, when you realize that your family is who they are, whether you're not married or not, you got to get over it. Get over it and get and, it done. And, and Talk moving. about it and, and keep moving. Forward. And move forward. Okay? So really, that's all I got on tonight. Absolutely. And we hope that we've been a blessing to you guys on tonight. Um, you all know the thing here at Marriage For Real. Don't yes. act brand new. And if you are brand new, just jump on in. Okay? <laughs> Our thing here yeah, at Marriage For seven. Real is the number seven. It's the Lord's number of completion. It lets us know on this end of the Samsung. Okay? Yes, we know about that Samsung life. Oh, we, game, okay? Oh. <laughs> you don't want none, bro. He would want to play me in basketball. I keep telling him. I see my, oh my husband's post on that. I'm like, boy. Anyway. Anyway. He, yes. It lets us know that we've done something that has blessed you on your end. Okay, and we want to thank you all. Those sevens let us know you guys did something on tonight. And we and it encourages us to move forward. Spread the message that marriage is still alive. Yep. That it still matters. Okay. Yep. Tell people all about marriage for real. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay. Email us. If you got something you're dealing with, we don't care what it is. Okay. Just email us. In your relationship, you ain't gotta be married. If you're single, got questions, whatever the case may be. You're all right? right. If you just been through something, we want to hear from you and we respond. Yeah. Okay. We don't just stock up on emails. We respond. <laughs> we care about what concerns you. Yeah. And that's what marriage thrill is about. All right. So we thank you guys for blessing us with your time tonight, inviting us into your lives. All right. Thank, thank you, you very Rodney much. For, thank you, thank Rodney, you. for chiming in with us yes. on tonight. <laughs> thank you so much. We love you guys and we pray. On that note, Evolve, and we pray for you guys daily. We really mm -hmm. do pray for a Marriage for Real family, okay? Wherever you are, like I said, you don't have to be here. If you're part here, you are part of the Marriage for Real family, all right? Spread the word. Tell them, invite people. Share this. Share this. This will be up on Periscope for the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's going to post automatically to our Facebook page, okay? Follow. Fellowship with us. Hang out with us. We love you guys. And as always, our thing is 10K to flight here on Marriage for Real. And the word tells us one shall chase a thousand, but two shall put 10,000 to flight. Yep. That is the power of your unity. God okay. math. God math, okay? I don't want a thousand. I want to chase 10,000. In order to do that, I need her. Yep. Okay? So put your 10,000 to flight. We're going to put 10,000 marriages on wings yeah. here at Marriage for Real. And we know that's not taking that scripture into context, but we have adopted it just for that purpose. Tasha will be praying for your job and yes. your place to live. Absolutely. 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 We will we'll be praying for you. And, and and Cape Canaveral girl, we will be praying for you. Hit us. Cape, Cape Canaveral, right? Naj. Naj. Yes. We will be talking. All right. We love you guys. God bless you. Thank you once again. We love you. And join us soon. All right. Here at Marriage For Real. M4RL. We love you guys. Bye. Good night. All right. God bless, God bless you, you too. Rodney. Yes. God bless you too. <laughs>